78 years young, Minister. Speaker. Order. <laughs> the member for Kennedy has the call. Minister of Digital Affairs, are you aware life expectancy for homeland of First Australians is just 56? Um, ALP Government in Queensland, 36,000 cattle gone. Torres Strait Island backyard fruit and vegetables gone. Right to water dinghy fishing freehold title gone. Didn't Dick Smith, back on Sunday, alert Australia to mass malnutrition following the market garden shutdowns? Eight First Australian MPs, Torres Strait's Fonda Malone, Gulf Cedric Waldron, all ignored. Isn't Sarah Madison right? The only voice government listens to the is its own. Members' time has expired. Give a call to the Minister for Indigenous Australians. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And can I join Order. with uh, everyone in wishing you a very happy birthday, Member for Kennedy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you are indeed 78 years young. Um, I thank you for your question, but I want to recognise uh, the very close relationship that the member for Kennedy has at places like Yarraba, Dumaji and Mornington Island, and I very much respect, uh, respect that relationship. And I am very conscious, as a many member for Kennedy pointed out, of the uh, huge gap in life expectancy, uh, particularly in the communities that he represents. Uh, I thank the member for Kennedy for your question. I know that it is very heartfelt. Constitutional recognition through a voice to parliament is all about making a difference on the ground in communities like those in North Queensland. It is about making sure the voices of Indigenous Australians in remote and regional communities are heard and not ignored. And I think that when you have a look at the Uluru dialogues um, and the way in which attention was particularly played to Queensland, it is very obvious. In fact, recognition through a voice is about making sure communities like those in far north Queensland that I know the member for Kennedy cares about have a say in the policies that impact them and their communities. It is indeed about those practical outcomes that the member for Kennedy is very much concerned about. The stark reality is that Indigenous Australians in remote communities uh, that the member for Kennedy represents experience a shocking and unacceptable gap in life expectancy, and something has to change. More of the same is not good enough. Later this year, all Australians will get a chance to do something about it, and I invite the member for Kennedy to be part of that journey. By voting yes for recognition through a voice and giving people like the people in North Queensland a real say. Can I finish up by saying that Mayor Andrews and Yarraba Council support the voice, and it is very strong. And on the issue of Mark Gardens, I have spoken with the member about this previously. I look forward to having further conversations with the member for Kennedy about things like market gardens that make a real practical difference in the lives of First Nations people in North Queensland.